Hey, who's winning, uh, Russia or Ukraine? Because I keep hearing Putin is bombing civilians and I keep seeing all the buildings he's blowing up. And I keep seeing a bunch of carnage. But then I keep also seeing stories that says Ukraine's holding out, they're kicking the Russians' butts. The Russians don't know what they're doing. So I don't know what to believe. I'm getting two separate stories here from the media. The media. That their sole purpose is to lie to you anyway. So I'm pretty sure everybody might have an opinion out here on who's winning. But honestly, I don't think anybody knows what the hell's going on over there. I got some people tell me there's no war going on at all. Are there Nazis in Ukraine? If I do a video talking about Nazis in Ukraine, I think YouTube will pull it down. I'm not saying there is, but... It's just weird. We should have freedom of speech here to talk about whatever we want. That's how it used to be in the good old days. Who's, who's winning the war, Russia or Ukraine? Ukraine. You think Ukraine's winning? Yeah. What about all the buildings being blown up and all the civilians being killed and all this stuff? Russia has lost 10,000 soldiers. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but who's telling you this? Um, the media? I forget where I read that. It ain't the same I media that, was, that uh, uh, said Hunter's laptop was uh, <laughs> Russia probably, disinformation. Probably, yeah. It wasn't the same yeah. media that said Russia wanted Trump to win and helped Trump win. <laughs> the uh, the media saying. says that um, Russia wanted Trump to win. Well, they didn't invade Ukraine when Trump was in there. They did it when Biden was in there. So why would they uh, want Trump to win? Yeah, well, because they see a weak president. Seems to me they didn't want Trump to win. Russia, Russia didn't yeah. want Trump to win? Why would Russia want Trump to win? Well, they probably didn't care one way or another. But now that Trump's not in there, they're going to jump on it, you know, mm -hmm. because they see a wimpy president. A wimpy president that yeah. uh, poops his pants. Yeah. You know, I got another question for you. Who is winning the war, Russia or Ukraine? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. What are the odds uh, Putin uses a nuclear bomb on Ukraine or somebody else? 50-50? We've never been so close to getting into a nuclear no. war than we are right now. I don't understand why people ain't freaking out. Yeah, Plus, right. we got the most incompetent people in charge. And if anybody's going to get us into a nuclear war, it's going to be these fucking idiots. I, I think that's the one thing that might be keep keeping Putin from doing it is because we have a nincompoop idiot in charge. Oh, I think Putin oh. can do whatever he wants right now because yeah, sure. we got dummies sure. in there. Sure, why would he want to ruin what he's doing? Who do yeah. you think's winning over there, Ukraine or Russia? <laughs> I don't know, propaganda. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Well, you're like me. You know all this propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can give you my opinion, but I know my opinion ain't shit because I'm basing it. Oh shit! Here comes a COVID bike. It's COVID bike. COVID. Are you COVID. Sir? That guy don't want to catch it. He's encapsulated himself inside his bicycle. He's protecting himself from the sun, yo. Yeah, I wonder he's, if he's, he's ever caught COVID. Florida sun people. Brenda. Yes. Who's winning the war, Russia or Ukraine? Did I already ask you this? No. Oh. Who do you think's winning? Well, Ukraine's kicking Russia's ass. You think? Yeah. But I think they're all corrupt, mm -hmm. and I think they're still playing wag the dog. Biden's playing pull the dog's tail. I told you that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's winning over there? Yeah, I, I, you I agree with Brenda. It's so hard to really, really get reliable, reliable information. From where I sit right now, I think Ukraine is definitely, you know, giving them a problem. But because of Russia's overall size and so forth, if they want to sit back and just keep pounding them with artillery and take all the heat for all the civilian casualties, I, I think they, they, they may do it. But I don't think their soldiers have the will to go in there and go into, you know, go into door-to-door. Uh, -door, so we're to told. That. We're told that anyway. Yeah, well. You know, we, Russia you? Russia is bigger than the United States landmass-wise, bigger than the United States and Canada put together. It's the biggest country on the planet, yeah. Russia. Yeah. And they want more land. Well, and if, if you listen to the general, they said 
the last thing you want to do is bombard a city and create rubble because that's the best place in the world for urban fighters to then kill you. I mean, you, 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 you just don't want to do that. And I think those Russian soldiers know it. Plus, I don't know if you heard this, I think it was retracted, but supposedly one of the, one of the Russian, or I mean, one of the Ukrainian generals or somebody said, if they capture any Russian troops, they're going to castrate them. I think eight, 89 percent of everything we hear is just fake, made-up shit. I think so too. P yes. Putin just used hypersonic missiles yesterday. Yes. Yeah. So, so, if he uses chemical weapons, what are we gonna do? What, what's the, what, well, what, what will NATO do? Then, Anything? Then, then I, I think, I think that World would be War a III. huge mistake. I really think that would be World War Three. Yes, I, I do. I so, do. what are the, what are the odds? 50-50 that we see a nuke go off here? More than one nuke? It's very, very hard to say, but if Putin crosses that line, I think the retaliation is going to be something we're all going to be very fearful. Well, we're all going to get nuked then. Yeah, it'll only take two nukes anywhere, and it'll cover the earth. You know, Russia, I don't know if we have these kind of nukes, but I was watching a video yesterday on it. Russia has these big missiles, right? And when they get to a certain point and they start coming down, a bunch of nukes come out of the head of this thing, and there's like 25 nukes on yeah. there, all of them. A uh, hundred times more explosive than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, yes. and they'll and they'll come down and they'll annihilate everything within like a 500 mile radius. Yeah, but how many of these things do they have? Well, well the fallout. I've never heard of and anything somebody, like that. Somebody said one nuclear weapon is all you need. That's why Iran is so dangerous. If they get one, they are a huge problem. Well, you know how many nuclear weapons are, um, Russia has? Right, somewhere around eight or nine thousand of them. Well, it only takes two to destroy the world. You know, All right, fellas. Region. Who is winning this war, Russia or Ukraine? Ukraine. You think we, Ukraine's winning? Why do yeah. you think that? Because Russia was supposed to roll in there and take everything in a couple days, and it's almost, it is a month now, and the Ukrainians are getting stronger and stronger. It's like 17 days or something. Yeah, well, it's... They were supposed to take them like four. Four or five days. So, yeah. so who do you think's winning, Russia uh, or Ukraine? I think U Ukraine is. You think they're winning? Yep. I think they, well, I think they're surviving. Hey, why doesn't Ukraine going... just march right into Russia and start blowing up their I, citizens? I don't understand they're, that. They're to... I mean, they could, right? They're well, trying to keep what they've got. Yeah. I think they're trying to keep what they've got, and I think that they will... Well, I mean, actually... do they have the same kind of missiles uh, and tanks and stuff? They got uh, planes. They can get planes. They got planes? They can fly those planes. Why don't they just right fly those planes? Dump. Hey, go you know bomb Moscow. No, no, there's a big depot inside, just inside Russia. That's where all this stuff's coming from. The trucks are everything. Well, I'm saying, if this, was, up. if this was a real war and they got fighter planes, wouldn't those fighter planes already be dropping bombs on Moscow? Well, you send a message, and we did it in the Second World War. Mm -hmm. After we were bombed, they had that mission mm -hmm. Tokyo to Tokyo, mission. to bomb Tokyo, to tell them, you're not that far away. Yeah. And that's why they did it. And that's why no Ukraine damage. should be doing that. Mm -hmm. They should be doing Send a message to Russia. You're not that far away from us. Yeah, what are the odds of Putin Japanese. using a nuke? I think it's a very real possibility. Yes, I, do I think. Do you think we've ever been closer than we are now to a nuke being dropped somewhere other yes. than Hiroshima? Other Cuban than the Cuban r missile crisis. We're closer now than we were then, don't you think? Um, I think we were closer then. You do? I yeah. think we were closer then, but I think we're we're too close. We had Kennedy as president. We could see I think we're closer TV. now. You yep. saw Kennedy on TV. He was serious. We were, he wasn't messing with this guy we got today. They'd laugh at him. I mean, we're lucky we had Kennedy. He was yeah. a he was a war veteran. And well, I'm we, saying is, yeah, we're lucky we well, had we Kennedy don't, back we don't, then. We don't have Look who Kennedy. we have right now. We got an Look idiot. who's in charge. Yes, we got a demented that's idiot what I'm saying. who shits yeah. himself every day. Yeah. Back. That's, Alaska back. That, that's a very valid point about because we have no. We're a Leader. headless. We're a headless nation Look, right yeah. now. We're close to. Um, we're, a, we're close to uh, Russia dropping yeah. a nuke if we do a no-fly zone. Um, Can't do that. If Putin uses, um, if he uses chemical agents, uh, we might do some. If we do anything, Putin might use a nuke. And, we, and the leadership that we have is uh, incompetent. Anything, anything Biden does is going to be wrong. We yeah. all know that. Yeah. What he, everything he does is wrong. He's never done anything so right. So he's going to push us in the wrong direction. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Every president you know? that had a deal. I think Putin using a nuke is a 50-50 chance right now. I don't think anybody knows. Uh, what's gonna happen, and I don't think anybody knows what's going on. The government's job is to keep us in the dark, not tell us anything. And we got a moron running the show.
And the next in line is Kamala, and uh, she's just as big a moron. And then the next in line is Nancy Pelosi. Term limits, guys. Anyways, get your asses on Rumble and follow me over there. Do it!